Good evening. Once again, the Buffalo Catholic Diocese is bracing for a potential criminal investigation as the sex abuse scandal unfolds. Now, this all comes on the heels of a months long I team investigation into the cover up of sexual abuse allegations and all new tonight. Internal emails now obtained by our chief investigator, Charlie Specht, show that the bishop finds the thought of a grand jury investigation, quote, scary. It would be a stunning sight. The idea of investigators with guns and badges descending on the Catholic Center on Main Street. But Erie County District Attorney John Flynn says it's not so much a matter of if an investigation of the Diocese of Buffalo is opened, but when. I anticipate uh, that there is going to be some form of investigation uh, uh, in, in the future with the Attorney General's office. Flynn says the AG has reached out to DAs in all 62 New York counties about starting a joint investigation of sexual abuse and cover-ups in the Catholic Church, similar to the recent probe in Pennsylvania. How it looks and exactly logistically how we're going to do it is still on the table right now. Sunday, Bishop Richard Malone said the church has nothing to hide. I also pledge that our diocese will cooperate with any investigation initiated by the New York State Attorney General or District Attorney. But according to internal church emails obtained by 7 Eyewitness News, behind the scenes, the bishop is worried about such a probe. After the Buffalo News wrote an article on July 1st about the idea of a statewide investigation, Bishop Malone wrote in an email, let's pray what we're honestly doing now will forestall this ever happening. He added that the idea of investigation was scary, though. Diocesan attorney Terry Connors wrote back to assure the bishop we should be safe from prosecution, but some agencies have the power to issue reports even though no charges are ever brought. Connors' law firm appears to have created a memo outlining examples of grand jury investigations regarding the Catholic Church and other cities and states. We need to be careful with every email and piece of correspondence, Connors writes, saying he plans to reach out to three former Buffalo Church officials, Bishops Troutman, Cunningham, and Kimmick. It is just a matter of being prepared. Father Mark Noonan, who resigned suddenly from his high-ranking position in the diocese earlier this month, appears to argue for preserving key records by revisiting the church's records retention policy. He says in an email, I also think we need to remove the word secret from anything related to diocesan activities or files. Connors replies, I agree, we should cease to use the term secret. Now, through his spokespeople, Bishop Malone did not respond to messages seeking comment for this story. Meanwhile, Terry Connors, diocesan attorney, said in a statement, these are standard instructions to all clients in advance of a potential investigation. And we've heard from viewers in the past few days asking whether the cover-up of child sexual abuse is a crime. We'll have some answers to that directly from the DA himself at 11 o'clock. For the I-Team, Charlie Speck, 7 Eyewitness News. Charlie, thank